Hi guys, so today I'm going to try out this Simply Made Crafts um, die set. It's called Hexagon Hamper Gift Box uh, die set. I did pick this up on Craft Stash. Um, of course, this is one of their, I think, exclusive uh, lines or ranges. And um, so yeah, so I'll have it linked along with anything else I might use that's available in the description box. And those would be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. What I've noticed working with these uh, dies is that they're bigger dies, but they're not like super like intricate so I think the pricing is really pretty much there right for a lot of these things uh, right now they are having a sale three for two so if you pick up two items you get the third free of the simply made uh, crafts uh, lineup and then they have a ton of bundles and just a bunch of stuff going on so I'll link that section there too because there are some other yeah so there are a lot of items that I went ahead and grabbed and I'm sure you guys want to check out that selection so uh, that's that oh I do want to mention um, Tonic Studios began their birthday week, and I had said something real quick in a video yesterday. Some of the items I do not have to show you guys yet. I will have some of them. I don't know which ones, though, because they are sending uh, some for me to try out. But I didn't want to be like, well, what are you sending so I can buy the rest, you know, or whatever. <laughs> so I, I always want to just leave it. Because I know if I ask that, they'll, they'll just be like, oh, I'll send you that too, you know. So I, I do want to pick up some stuff. I like to shop the site, too, just to make sure everything's good, you know, here and there. Quality control. We got to make place some orders you know and um and so this is uh the uh the new one for today the big top carousel i do not again know if i have that on the way uh but if not i will purchase it because that is so cute so it's like a little gift box down here and it has a little top and you can just make it like this you can put the little horses in there however it is so um again a ton of different bundles well right now not a ton because i guess every day they're going to be releasing some so right now like they have this mega adhesive bundle or like this mixed cardstock bundle or whatever it might be um and then you know different little uh perks like if you place uh, two orders you know one or two different orders basically you get five dollar coupon or voucher for your next order and then the nouveau key rings which are super cute uh with every order uh gifts on orders over 50 and the free tote bag with orders over 70 which are super cute actually let me grab a couple of those things this is just a really basic tonic gift bag so this one one of the first ones they put out it has a big heart and it's just tonic studios the new ones have like cute sayings on them i actually have one coming today excuse me I actually have anyone coming today because I ordered a Nuvo mystery bundle and it's going to be delivered today so you guys will see that later anyway and then um the key rings I think they usually look the same year after year but this is one that I got I think last year um and I always put them on my binders like this to make it easy to zip um stuff but I mean they're just really pretty key rings so and then they're different colors I have like a teal one I have a light blue I have this one I have a yellow um off the top of my head I can remember those Okay, so real quick. <laughs> so let's get back to that. So I'll link that too because um, they also have some just regular bundles for the week that are really nice. So anyway, I'll link all those different things. You guys can check them out if you like. So thanks for that. Oh, okay. Coordinates with Ultimate Gift Bow Dice Set. Interesting. I don't have that one. I have the one that... I think I have a different one. Anyway, what I was saying is that they are large. Like you think of this little hamper and it's hard to tell in a picture how big it is. Um... The largest die is 155.4 centimeters, or millimeters, sorry, not centimeters, <laughs> that'd be huge, uh, by 135.3, if that means anything to you. Let's look at these dies. Oh, it comes with words, too. I love it. Sorry about the reflection, guys. So I think we're going to be able to put this guy together pretty quickly, especially if we just use, like, patterned papers, so it's up to you, of course, as always. You know, I'm just so used to Tonic having all these different inlays and different things, and then, you know... Uh, I used to do it a little bit differently. Okay, be careful. There is a tiny little thing. <laughs> so we have these pieces. So um, I'm assuming either this makes different sizes or matte layers, right? But this is the base, so I don't know if you want to matte the base. But yeah, it must be something like that. Uh, let me see, because they don't have any more side pieces. That's interesting. Maybe for the inside. Um, so you have these side pieces. Sorry about that. You know what? I'm going to put this up because my husband came down and... Uh, actually gave me a moment to look at stuff just to make sure that this is in the sale that they're currently running three for two and it is um, and then the things have to be full price so if there's something already in that range that simply made crafts that's on sale um, you get the sale price right but the three for two is for the full price items but anyway so we have those pieces and then like I guess we have the side pieces there should be and eh, yeah so you can make this very delicate if you want just to put the inlay within the side piece or you can put these guys together to make the inlay that then goes over or you can do this plus an inlay right because then the inlay shows through to the next color and then the actual color of the base whatever it is you like to do 
And then we have um, these squares here. Um, again, just for different things. And there was something about the squares. I think it helps you make a square box, a square hamper. So, yeah, I don't know if you can see, this is exactly the same size. And this, so they always, well, I wouldn't say always, but it seems like they always add a little something else if you want to, um, a little more versatility. This is in the Elks, <laughs> something else. So you can do like a four sided thing. It almost looks like a little popcorn box, but it's kind of short. So you can do that with four sides or the um, uh, hexagon here. Okay, so that's really sweet. Um, again, just lots of different things here. We have this guy that would have this piece. I'm trying to see all the different pieces. So it has a, a matting layer and um, it has these portions. So different reasons you would want to use this. If you want to put this like on the strap and then if you did you can put these little die cuts, this little die on either side. So it makes it something you can like um, put the um, strap through, right? Just fits through here and goes through that top part so it's very sizable or maybe you don't want to do that or maybe you do but there it is um, maybe you want to use this little guy um, I don't. oh yeah it fits in there too but it'd be very difficult to get this one just because it's a little bit smaller right you have to be more careful with it but I suppose you could still use that and that also has a matting kind of label area or you can just put little holes on either side or just on one side make it a tag however you want to do with that we have the words with love and from me to you super cute and then we have these other little edges and I'm wondering if this is just yeah they're just showing it there like to make extra bits but um, what you can do with that obviously mix and match with different things but maybe you can also add it to these guys you're gonna trim it down um, just to give it a different edging I don't know but good to have they're cute <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let me just grab some paper and we'll just do a basic construction. This is going to be pretty easy, guys, because it's very simple. Um, again, that's what I've noticed with a lot of these, this particular line. Just simple construction, pretty straightforward, and basic in a way that just makes a nice uh, project. So let me grab some paper and we'll get started. You know, to make the basic thing, I have this heavyweight cardstock from Hobby Lobby or something. Um, I just want to show you real quick. It does have some instruction on the back. Cut the hexagon shape for the base of the basket. Cooks already misspeaking, <laughs> of course. Cut six side panels. Fold all score lines, which is the way I love to do things, so I really like that they're on board with that because <laughs> I always cut score and then put things together and sometimes instructions show differently. Uh, attach side panels to base using tabs. To add a tag to the handle, cut slits in each side of the tag and thread the handle through. Secure the handle to each side of the basket and add mats and panels to decorate. And then square basket. See, that's what I was like, I think. <laughs> so cut the square base, of course, four side panels, and repeat steps three to six, and you have a square base. So just because the base is square doesn't mean it doesn't tip out, because you see how this is kind of angled out. So it's going to tip out just a little bit, but like I said, like a popcorn box, you know, it's a little bit angled out. Super cute. Okay. So um, I'm going to take this larger one, cut one of these guys, and six of this, okay? So we do need quite a few of that. And I grabbed this paper. It came free with our bumper pack, right, with one of the magazines I had recently picked up. And um, I had mentioned before, this paper is like newsprint. It has a different feel to it. This one's a little bit different, a little bit thicker than what you normally get free in a lot of these things. And I thought, you know what, why don't I use some of these? So I will choose a paper in this pack that I like. And then I think there are two sheets of each, so as you can see. So if I pick one, it should be enough to do the whole pro. Oh, that's pretty. But I'm using like cream colors, so I'm trying to look for something that might be. Oh, this is very, but it's very plain now. Huh. Oh, this one's cute. Okay, well, let me find a <laughs> one. And I'm just going to do the matte layer because we're going to do our simple putting together of this guy. But I will cut one of these just so you guys can see what that looks like. Okay, so I'll just find some pretty paper. And again, we only need six of these, so as you can see, they're not that big. Oh, oh this is pretty. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. And I just tear them out, but however you want. Yes, that'll be pretty. And actually, on the strap, we can do something. Oh, look! I was say on the strap, we can do something cute, but the strap is obviously longer than this. But I think by the time you have it there, that's really cute. Maybe we'll do that. Okay. Um, okay, so six of these, one of the larger, and then six of these guys when I come back. That's what I'll have. Okay, guys. So. I was a little hasty and I went ahead and cut the hexagon base like for the inside to mat that hexagon layer and um, 
since I used that paper that way too, I didn't have enough to really do all the different sides. So I just want to show you, if you want to do them all one paper, um, all six will fit on one page. Just that I did the hexagon on that one, like the inner hexagon. So I was only able to get three more of the B print with the blue uh, like sprigs. So I just cut three from another paper that kind of coordinated. What happened is uh, the paper pack doesn't actually have two of each sheet. A lot of times they do, right? And the back it repeats the same pattern. But this one has all kinds of different collections within the paper pack. So they're all different. So there's only one sheet of each thing. So that was my workaround. I will cut this in just a minute to show you guys that. And I think I'm going to add another hexagon base, another beige base. I got everything cut on two sheets. All the hexagon base plus these six pieces all cut on two sheets of um, A2 size paper, like, you know, regular eight and a half by 11 paper. So, but I'm gonna go ahead and take these guys and go ahead and score them. And if you like to, you know, get your bone folder out, go for it. I usually don't, I just do it with my hands and that's enough, but <laughs> however you like to score your papers. And I'll be right back, all of them, right? Um, and you can decorate them prior. I know it says on there to mat afterwards, which is normally what I do anyway. I always do my mat layers after things are put together, but it's whatever you want. And you can definitely see that little ruffle or scallop edge there. Again, we have the repeat of the scallop edge here. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is very handy. Okay, I'll be back. Yeah, I like to work with wet glues. And so here's the thing. So if I want to do this, I'm going to cut another one just because I want to hide these inner workings. Cause, I mean, they're there. Even if I cut this piece, it'll top off right there. You're going to see all the different little junctions. So do you want to put it on this part or do you want to put it underneath? Or do you want to just put it underneath and not waste your paper? That's up to you. Um, right now, this is the nice side of the paper. So if I put it on this side, when I bring in the other one, I'll put it on top. But what I'll do right now, I'll go ahead and glue underneath because that'll make it easier when I glue another piece on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is go around like this. And the reason I say that is because if you have, let me clear this out. Um, if you go ahead and put them on the top right now, it might be too tight to put the other one inside later. So it's better to pretend like these are the outside ones already. If you're going to do the two layers of prettiness, because this one goes here, right? Right along the edges. That's what I like to do. So you can still score or fold it, but it's not hurting anything. And later when I come with the second piece, I'm gonna put it on top and that'll just fit there, you know? So that's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go around, putting glue on the inside of the flap like that. And you guys, I don't know if you can see, this is a big project. And you know, I didn't measure that outer die, but let's just make sure that's nice there. Um, Just eyeballing that. Okay. And if it came up here like this, that's good. Um, the largest die is metal to metal, like edge, is five and a quarter. Just a little over five and a quarter. And then in the other direction, let's say this point to this point, uh, just over six inches. Okay. Just so you have that info. But I'm going to go around adding these and then we'll do the side. But you can do the vice, like go ahead and do that and go ahead and do this. Go ahead and do that and go ahead and do this. Uh, however, you want to put it together. Uh, for me right now, I'm just going to put all these side pieces on. And then I'll come back and attach them to each other, okay? And again, just take a look at the bottom, take a look at the top. It doesn't matter, we're going to cover it up anyway. If you're not going to cover it up, then you probably want to take more time to make sure they look really nice. Here. Okay. I'll back. That's all done. And I'm just going to glue the sides together. So again, I like to use wet glues. So it holds up longer over time. But if you like to use tape burners or if you want to use red liner tape, I would have already placed that. So all you do now is just take the sides off and stick them together. Can you see how big this is? <laughs> it's such a good size. I don't know if you can tell. But anyway, so I'll give it a moment for that to set up. And go to the next one. Just keep going around just that easily. I always make sure the glue is the very edge of the tab and then we stick that together and you're getting your little shape okay and then I'll go to the next one okay, keep going around bit. and I was kind of putting them down like this and just massaging that so it stays nice look at this I mean <laughs> this is so big let me see from the very top opening 
it's almost seven inches we're probably about seven inches and then the other direction it's like eight inches and then we already measured like the base basically over there so five and a quarter and six in the way so i'm just going to take this pretty guy again this is the rough cut side so that it looks nice on the bottom you can also just take you know an accent piece of paper you don't have to or you don't have to do this at all i just like to finish off my projects nicely so that looks really nice look at that so pretty i'm just gonna put it down so okay and then um i have this pretty thing i cut down and actually since this is kind of some thinner stuff i'm going to just go around with my, my runner just so that my glue doesn't make the paper pucker up or anything and i'm gonna look oh no 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 i was gonna say i'm gonna be careful when i place this because uh it's atg and it just wants to stick that's pretty good and if you want to cut inlay layers for the inside you know you can do that too but i'm just gonna decorate the outside so basically again i'm just gonna take this i'm not gonna bore you with that part and when i come back i'll um die cut the scrap actually when i come back we'll talk about that because we want to do some different things let me see something really quickly how's this supposed to look it's supposed to be kind of maybe like a a little smaller than a quarter inch all around right so i just kind of want to see where that should be so when i place this it's not completely off looks good and i'm going to alternate between this pattern and this pattern okay and i'll be right back so we need this strap again you can put like the little cute kind of top part and we have the larger one we have the smaller one i'll see let me look at the paper pack i'm just gonna cut this from the beige paper i was using but we did like See, I was going to use this for the other accent piece, but I'm like, ah, I can't Excuse do me. that. I was like, well, I can't do that because uh, I want to use this side, right? So I think I'm going to cut. Look, I mean, this brown piece looks like a strap. But I'm going to cut this out just with my guillotine. I'll just cut across here and get that out. Um, this already has some cute things on it, but as far as, like, sentiments. So you can do, you know, whatever you like. <laughs> Honestly, if you fussy cut one of these out, that'd be funny because you actually have the little die to make your little hole right there in the tag. And just put it on there but I'm trying to see what would be I guess I could cut something like this hmm oh, you guys look at that that's funny should we make a little tag that sticks on top uh, I was just gonna cut whatever worked out or maybe nothing but either way you saw that you can do some different things I don't know um, let me cut this down I will just so we have something, I'll probably cut this from some pattern paper, you know? Okay, and then this guy, let's say this pattern paper, right? Because we have plenty of it, this one. And then this guy, I'm going to take a scrap of this. And if we want it to go through with that big piece, since this is the first time I'm doing this and I don't really have an image to go off of, I don't want it to be too thin, right? Because we want that to go through. And then this piece is going to be like... Where is this piece going to be like in there? Yeah, we can definitely put it like right there. That would be good. And then I'll come back. What I'm trying to say is I'm trying to leave enough on the top and the bottom that's not just cutting through that whole piece, you know? So let's put that there. I'm going to put a little more tape. I'm going to run this through and I'm going to come back and show you how to do the other side of it. Real quick. Sorry, my creative mess here. So we have this piece. I don't have to completely, well, I guess I should because that tape's in the way anyway. Uh, let me just show you here. So, I mean, if you're a real perfectionist, you'll want to, um, actually, I'll probably leave this here just to help me center that. You might want to measure it or something, but basically that's going to tuck in there and I'm okay with that. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Actually, I'll go off of this before I go off the other part. Let's see if that's there. And this is here. What did it look like over here? Because, you know, it has an edge on the sides. So it's like right by the piece of paper. <laughs> so you see that. So I'll do the same thing over here. I'm just eyeballing up and down. Remove that. And I'm going to run this through. And I'll be right back. Real quick, because you know me, I have to show everything. I just brought this over and just sliced off that top part because it's all nice and straight. Took a little bit off the bottom so it'd be the same. We're not going to see that part anyway. I have a little trick in mind because, again, this paper is smaller, obviously, than the strap. 
But how much of this paper do you want to show? Like, do you want to leave that little line that it has? So I'm just looking at it here. Maybe I'll do that. That's a very small piece. I'm cutting this side off first because if I cut this side off, and then I'm gonna have this little piece to work with, you know. So always take off and leave yourself the most area to work with um, for like this next side. And that looks pretty good. Okay. And there is our little strap topper. Now what I'm going to do with this, since a lot of this is going to be covered anyway by that band that we made, I'm just going to cut it like in half. Okay? And I'll show you what we're going to do with that in just a minute. These last few pieces. And then I forgot we have sentiments in this, so maybe I'll use some of those um, for this other stuff. Let's put this on here. And it's pretty much right there. Yeah, it's good enough. And let's just make sure. Yeah, perfect. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Um, this die is much longer than standard A2 size paper. It left maybe because you know they have the A4, and A4 is almost like it's like 11 and 3 quarters inches long or almost closer to 12, a little bit. And so um, I just let it hang off. I didn't care. I just let it cut one side and leave the other side less. But what I'm doing is I'm going to glue this down like this. That way, when this covers this portion, He'll be none the wiser. I'm going to show him bring in just a little bit like that. Okay, so let's stick this down. Oopsie. And a little bit further in because we're going to glue some of this down inside our box anyway. So let's just bring that. Oh my gosh, you know what? I just realized I didn't even measure this, but look at it. It's perfect as far as like the width. Didn't even measure it. Sorry guys. I hope that wasn't too fast for you. It's really bleached out, so... I'm very sorry. Okay. I've tried adjusting it. What happens is if I adjust the light, it gets too blue. And then I try to make it a little bit dimmer. I don't even know. Okay. So again, try and line that up nicely. And this guy, we can give it a little bit of a curve. Because that's what it's going to need. And I suppose... Okay, so we're going to come from the outside in. And then over here. And probably don't want this to move. Especially because I did my little trick there. So, we can glue these together, or you can put a little pop dot in the center there, or like um, a foam adhesive so it pops up a little bit. That'd be nice. You know what I'm saying? So it has like a little curve in the center that popped up. But for now, that's what we're going to do. Sorry, I forgot that I closed up, so now we're back up very slowly. And let's glue this in. So, you know, this thing is just like whatever. I don't really care which way this is supposed to be looked at. So, let's just... I say that and then I'm like, hmm. Okay, so the bees are going either way. It doesn't really matter either. I'm just going to glue this down to the center. Now you can make little holes if you wanted. You can put a brad. I'm just gluing it in. I can still put a hole later if I wanted to just to make it look cute. And especially if you wanted to move up and down or like left to right, you know. If you wanted to swivel, you would want to put um, a hole with like your hole punch put a brad. But this is going to be, actually, since I'm not going to use this for a while, I probably should have done the brad thing. What I love is when I make boxes, you guys probably wonder, like, what do you do with all these things? I use them later, and it's so easy when I buy a little gift and I have a box, and I'm just like, boop, and then everyone, I'm telling you, when I give them away, or like, around as teachers, or aides, or whoever, they're like, oh my goodness, this is, they love the box, of course, more than probably what's inside. So, um, it's always fun just to have them ready. Like, this one can be all occasion for anything, really. And that's kind of why I wasn't going to put a sentiment on it, but again, how high do you want this? I'm just kind of looking at both sides and doing that even, maybe a little bit higher up. So I'm just holding that straight, just eyeballing that scallop and kind of placing it in there. Um, so yeah, no, we have like with love, you know, from me to you, which is really nice. And you can just die cut those and stick it on this label. Uh, I think I'm not going to do anything, like I said, just so uh, have it ready for whatever occasion. But let me cut. Um, I left these out just because I wanted to show you guys. Really nice. Those are nice for cards. Nice size. Uh, let me cut one of these guys out just so you see what this inlay looks like. And let's just uh, get a scrap of paper. Um, I guess it's blue paper. I don't know. <laughs> I had a whole sheet of blue paper, apparently. I changed my mind. I was probably going to use that sometime. And then I went with something else. Okay. 
let's just line it up there again the reason I'm just showing you this is whenever you put your two dies always tape them so they don't move because if they move under your machine like under the plates or whatever it can be not great <laughs> so you can damage your machine or the dies and it's only happened to me one time ever the die went under the other one and it kind of like made it crooked basically it made the this outline die like bend so I kept using it and it straightened back out but not a good thing for your machines okay I'm gonna put this in the marquee and look at this folder look at this folder you guys you can keep using them it's okay um, but recently I've had a lot of questions from people what is that plastic folder that you cut in it looks like an embossing folder or a plain embossing folder literally and it's, so I'm like oh these people must be new like they don't know anything about the marquee probably because they wouldn't ask right so I'm like oh that's actually a cutting folder for the marquee it wouldn't be nice if it was a cutting folder for like other things and I know other people have done things where they work it out look at this you guys <gasps> how fast and like it just popped out so nice um, so yeah, it's just the marquee cutting folder for the system, but there that would be if you had that. Or again, you can just inlay it right into the basket if you want like a really like delicate gossamer basket, right? You can just not use this. Just put your die, the inner, right on that panel. Cut it. But um, it probably looks nicer if you were to do this. This is a really pretty die. Okay, guys. Well, I'll have the links there uh, again to Tonic. They just started their birthday week. Hopefully I get that carousel. If I don't, I will pick it up myself because I am definitely working on that carousel it's too cute and um just share all the birthday week bundles i'll have it all linked in the description box these guys are three for two um well when i say three for two it's you buy three and you're the the lowest costing one um is taken off the um at checkout so is that three for two because it depends on the pricing right i don't know all right guys <laughs> thanks for watching this is so cute look how big that is like what a nice size little project from like those little dies, you know? And again, if you want a square base, you just have the square base. You can still do your strap. You can still do whatever. And this one's probably geared more towards that square base because it's a little bit smaller. But you have that larger label. I mean, lots of ways to use it and outside this project too. Super sturdy. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.